took the mic and I had to intervene. Dutch, <laughs> but my Dutch wasn't good. <laughs> I saw it too, I saw it. Yeah, I have a 12 doopers. Gemaakt. How do you feel? Good. Good? Good. That is all. That is all. That is all. Alleen goed. As a midfielder with cult status, he left the club years ago, but now he's returned to be a part of the IX media team. Aeyong Aino is my co-host on the IX podcast, but he's at a crossroads in his life. Today we're going to record the podcast with Aino about the Club World Cup win 25 years ago. Let's go meet the big man. Aino. Bekend van het optreden in Zuid-Afrika bij de opleiding van Ajax. Indrukwekkend genoemd. Ik ben met een van de beste keeper in Nederland. Ino. En een knap schot van Ino. Met links, dat kan hij dus ook. Ino geeft buitenspel. Ino kan doorgaan en Ino kan scoren. Suarez. Ino. En het is gelijk. Een zondagschot van Ino. Now you're part of the, the IX media team. What is your role? Just that different aspect, my point of view, and also my insight in terms of football, yeah. and also that connectivity with the fans and just with the club. Are you trying to make an IX comeback? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Where IX comeback is in many ways. It could be on the pitch, it could be around the club, it could be with other players. So just the fact that you're around something we're doing in the club is still a comeback. I hear you, man. Well, don't we have a podcast to film today? Yeah, I'm sure you, we do. Let's and go. you know, we have to do some preparation. Let's go, Let's go do Let's it, go. man. Let's go do it. Hello, podcast fans. I'm here with E. Young Aino. How are we doing today? Hey, Dave. How are you doing? Very, very good. We have a very special episode today. Shout out to Tokyo. Shout out to Tokyo. A special one today. Let's go. Let's go. We've been doing this for a while now, the podcast. How does it feel? Great. Feels great. Yeah. You know, it's always exciting to do what you like doing. You already trained for this back in the past, right? Yeah, I was just, uh, uh, IX Media came to me, I was like, do you want to interview some players? You know, like everyone was buzzing, excited yeah. about this was the third star. Yeah. It's the third year. So, and I was part of it. This was historic for me. Yeah. So I was, everyone was so excited. So I said, yeah, I'm going to give it a try. So I took the mic and I had to interview in Dutch. <laughs> but my Dutch wasn't good. <laughs> I saw it too. I saw it. Yeah, I have a 12 do but. Gemaakt. Hoe voel jij? Goed. Goed? Goed. Dat is, dat is alles. Dat is alles. Alleen goed. But I wasn't scared, so yeah. I put my, 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 my terrible Dutch out there because of the excitement of the moment. And you know what? There's always been something that I really like to do, to talk with players, to engage, so yeah. it's always been there. Okay. Ik ga deze kant. And how do you prepare for like this podcast? Well, how I prepare is just to be in the moment, you know, just have a relaxed mind. I really want to be as authentic as possible. Sometimes I listen to other podcasts mm. and sometimes I, I read a lot of materials, you know, from what we're going to be working on just yeah. to have that background information. But the aspect of listening to a lot of other podcasts helps a lot. What have you done for this best trade today? After what? What have you done for this best trade Not so much, not so much. But how do you feel as you are the champion for Netherlands? Well, I think the big bosses are about to arrive, so I think we should get ready for this. Let's get ready, let's get ready. Do you want to come across to the other side? Sure, sure, sure. I'm coming across now. Ready? Ready. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. One, three, one, four. <laughs> <laughs> what should we be asking them today? What, like, what do we really want to know? Yeah, of course, I think it would be good to give them a quiz just to see how they're still keeping those memories. Hoi! Kijk eens! Can it... Uh... <laughs> okay. Alles goed? Yeah, goed. Edwin uh, put his headphones on, then we're completely set. Okay, let's go! You left to play football abroad, but you kept your house here, you moved back here. Can you explain uh, your love for Holland? Well, my first professional club I played up in Europe is, is, in, is in Ajax, mm -hmm. and so it always is a special place to me. I have also a couple of my kids who were born here in Amsterdam, 
and uh, my first major trophy I ever won was with Ajax and it was very special. So like after Cameroon, Holland is my second home. And your son is now part of the academy? He's gonna follow in dad's footsteps or what? Yeah, well, I think following dad's footstep, probably, but finding his own footsteps. Yeah. So for me, I'm just excited that he loves football, he likes to do it. Not only him, I've got two other boys who are also into football. Yeah. And as a dad, I just really just wanna support them and then, you know, uh, no pressure for them. They just have to enjoy what they, they like doing and yeah. be the best of it. So we focused on the Champions League again and uh, yeah, we did a great job in Madrid. I guess you're at a bit of a crossroads in life now because football is not really over, we can't say that, but then there's life after football, so yeah. where do you see yourself in five years is yeah. the big question. I call it a transition, okay. so I need to put some things in place that will help me roll into that five years. So I'm working on a book project that is really to share my knowledge and my experience with the next generation and how they can really benefit from it. And I also see myself also helping a lot of young players as far as management is concerned. Okay. Because for me personally, it's not really how much you make as a footballer, it's how you manage what you make. Oh look, I've worked with you for only two months and I've definitely gained some wisdom, so I'll be looking forward to that book. Guys, for those of you watching, do not forget to hit like on this video, drop us a comment. If you want to read Eno's book, subscribe to the channel. Eno, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go, bro.